Hello everyone and welcome back. We are playing as New Zealand and we're doing pretty well. We've taken out the common turn recently and just currently working on cleaning up the rest of the allies if we can. Um, looks like we're going to destroy some convoys there. That's kind of a battle without much fear. I should really just be having this guy do it, since he's not going to move on. We have this guy planned from here. Go to there. Go when ready. Pretty easy convoy sinkage there. I think these sub fours might actually be able to handle. Something like that. We can help Japan out a little bit. Which means the rest of these go to... What are you guys? Kiwi Fleet 2. So that guy can hold there. Those guys, some dig in. So, we're gonna start reclaiming all these islands. That's great. It's been a while since we we're able to do that. Our navy's stronger than theirs now, so that's good. And that's a lot of subs they have, but I don't think they're probably very powerful subs. Okay, so we've got what we conquered in Delhi reconnected now. It's time to do this. Try to push the line further. Get the British Raj out, then we're set to start taking on Africa and the rest. And Japan can definitely help with that. And with Finland out, we can push into Norway, or Germany will. Which is going to let them do what they've been trying to do the whole way. Yeah, they sure do have a lot of subs. We can actually give this fleet a commander, admiral, be a little better off. Okay, so we've taken this. They did reclaim the islands we had here, but I don't think they should be able to get many troops in. For destroying convoys. And we should be able to move these guys forward. Because it seems they're more concerned about the Hawaii Ridge and French Polynesia, which is this guy, and they're always worried about him. But if they're not threatening the other ones, we're just going to move up through them. Oh, they actually have a full fleet there. So those subs will probably die. Yeah, we'll lose our subs there. That's okay. Do we have enough knowledge to know what these are? Because I could send my main fleet over there, my fleet of three, and I think they could probably mix things up pretty good. Why don't we try that? If we can get rid of that fleet, I'd feel a lot safer about it. At least get him over to the East China Sea. Bomber focus. Hey, where are you going? No. Your plan is to take this island back. 
go when ready. I think we should actually probably delete that. Because that's not doing much for us. This guy hasn't been threatened. Ireland joined the Allies. That's fine. Nope, not the airport. Take all the islands that can't have navy support, we'll be fine. East China Sea. Okay, so our battleships are going in. They have battleship ones. Which we should actually be able to take out. We're destroying destroyers like crazy. Just destroy the British fleet and we're going to be so much happier. Because that takes them a long time to produce all that. Especially the battleships, as we well know. It can take years. I don't think we'll lose any. But we'll have to go back and repair for a while. We might lose them. No, they're going to retreat out. So we killed eight destroyers. That's pretty good, honestly. Sure. Oh, that guy's way up here? Oh, that's that same guy. Yeah, of course he is. That's where I sent him. Okay, so that was actually a successful invasion. So, modify the government. I think we need to go to war economy. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. It seems rather obvious now. So these guys got pretty beat up, but that's going to be okay. A couple months we'll have our next class of battleship ready to be produced. Just picking these islands off one at a time. So even if their marines do land, they're going to be in such rough shape. It's actually a
pretty sizable force. Where are they coming from? Where are they staging to? Just gotta make sure they don't actually get anywhere. Okay, we can get more cutoffs here. That'd be good. The whole France thing is still quite a problem. Oh, how nice. They've given us some territory to occupy. Some of those are very successful. Maybe. Salmon Sea, New Guinea. I don't think they're going to get in there. I don't think we'll let them. How's the Navy going? They're getting there. They're getting repaired. Manpower's bad still. Those invasions are going to work. So we'll pull back from that. I think we canceled the subline. Build convoys for now. I don't have any factories working there. I wish we could get all the Australian stuff to not be so angry. Get this guy to do this. We might be able to take that one. <clears throat> I wonder if we like. I mean, these are obviously viable bases, and they can still get to them. But that's not going too bad. Hmm. 
And so they allowed them to retake Delhi. That's not very useful for us. How's it going over here in Europe? It's pretty much a standstill. Uh, I think Finland will fall. And probably Norway after it. Africa's not looking too pretty either. This does look pretty good though. We're gonna start taking some back, but. Hopefully none of our puppets are getting any closer to being independent. Yeah, not really. So they're actually striking back here, which isn't good for us. done. That's not bad. Oh, of course. <clears throat> I probably should have just held that. So we're not actually really making that much progress. We've moved a few around, but nothing huge. Dockyards, let's make a convoys. They'll probably take that back. This is actually blocked, which is kind of nice. We don't want to build any that aren't top of the line, so we'll hold off on that. I mean, the U.S. justifying against us doesn't matter. We've been at war the whole time. It doesn't change a thing. I was hoping these troops would hold a little better over here. But Germany is going to push through Norway. I wish Germany was more... I don't know, willing to go and invade places. I mean, across sea zones. I know they probably can't here. If we could potentially clean that up for them, that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, they took out the base behind him. That's... Unfortunate. We might actually win this one. Should be crazy. And indeed we do. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it is progress. We have taken a few islands back. More distractions for them again. Okay, time to go to Barracuda. About ready to get these Vanguard class going. I don't actually think it's necessary to have two of those. Let's get that manpower back. So close to our vanguard class. Those battleships are going to be destroyers. Well, literally not destroyers, but you get the idea. We'll just wait on that guy. That'll just be wasteful. Okay, Vanguard class. Excellent. We could try to do Lion class 2, but I don't think that's really that necessary to do super heavies. I mean, we're pretty far behind on infantry weapons, so let's get those caught up a little bit. I think that'll be fine. Do that loop. I think we've got this fleet. I think that's the other one we ran into before. Because once we get into actual dueling range, we just start chopping them up real quick. Like destroyer will go down, then the cruiser will probably follow pretty quick. Oh, come on, take him out. You gotta hit him. Hit him while he's retreating. Same thing happened with that battle cruiser. Okay, got advanced computing machines. Let's get better decryption. So we destroyed that destroyer. Next time it'll be something else. Oh, we got that as well. It's not too bad. USS Wasp. It's a carrier too, but if we can knock it out of this fight. Oh, we're retreating. That's alright. At least we took out two of their ships. That actually looks pretty rough over here. They can just walk in and take Paris, though.
No one's really concerned about Romania. Yeah, this is a very back and forth war, but we'll do more next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.